Welcome to Counterpunch. Today's topic, should we reduce our national debt through spending cuts or tax increases? Raising taxes to reduce the deficit is a lot like removing clothes on a hot day in order to cool oneself. There's a limit to how long that can continue. As a politician friend of mine once told me, politicians can always spend more money. In other words, raising taxes merely fuels the natural desire that politicians feel to spend it, and the problem with our deficit is merely postponed. As time progresses and spending steadily increases, we find ourselves right back in the same situation, only this time it'll be even more serious. Look, the problem we're facing isn't that we're undertaxed. The problem is that Congress is overspending. Over the past two years, we saw a yearly deficit of $400 billion skyrocket to $1.5 trillion and it's projected to stay in that range for at least the next decade. Spending like drunken sailors is what triggered this crisis, so the best solution is to stop spending like drunken sailors. That's common sense advice clear and simple enough to be understood by almost anyone. Without controls and limits on spending, it'll continue to rise, and our problems will continue to grow. Spending cuts and limits on future spending must be implemented on all areas of the federal budget, even emergency and entitlement spending. It's the only way to eliminate the deficit, pay down the national debt, and avoid the looming specter of bankruptcy. For Politics Alabama, I am Matthew Givens. Cut spending or increase taxes? Actually, we need to do both. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the biggest chunks of our future deficit come from the Bush tax cuts, the economic downturn, and spending on wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Let's look to those big-ticket items for fiscal responsibility, too. First, go after the biggest source of the deficit. Allow the Bush tax cuts to expire. While we're at it, let's raise taxes on unearned income, too. Second, revive the economy. That requires short-term government spending but pays off in the long term through increased revenue and decreased need for spending. Third, reduce the war budget. Fortunately, that one is already in the works. There's no simple or painless way to reduce the national debt, but the tried and true method is to get spending and revenue back to Clinton-era levels. For Left in Alabama, this is Sherry Walker. Produced by Politics Alabama, online at politicsalabama.blogspot.com.